The Shroud of Turin is a linen cloth that supposedly covered the body of Jesus after his death on the cross, which Christians commemorate on Good Friday. In the book-length interview with Benedict XVI, Light of the World, a pope calls the item a relic for the first time. It's kept in the Cathedral of Turin, and it's shown only when the pope gives authorization. The last time was in April of last year, when more than two million people came to visit. It's the oldest known relic, but its origin and authenticity are still a great mystery. Science will continue to study the shroud because today we have many scientific instruments, such as high-definition pictures, that can provide new data. Although there's no definitive answer, the traces of the shroud only give hints to the passion of Christ. It's the linen which, according to the Gospel of Joseph of Arrhythmia, covered the body of Jesus. According to the bloodstains, the fabric was in contact with the body for 36 hours, the same amount of time that passed between the death and resurrection of Jesus. In the relic, particles of aloe, myrrh, and 70 types of pollen were discovered. 75% of these plants only grow in the Middle East. The linen fabric also helps to understand how the crucifixion of Jesus took place. There are traces of sand in the area where the nose would have been, confirming he fell several times. There are also traces of blood and water on the side, the same place where a soldier pierced Jesus with a spear. The large amount of bilirubin in the blood indicates a violent death, as if sweating blood, as described in the Gospels, and that he suffered in an indescribable way. Really incredible. According to the shroud, he received 120 lashes with the whip, which had three strings, and each one had two pieces of sharpened bone, which tore the skin. Therefore, every blow caused six injuries. 120 strikes equals 720 separate wounds. Authentic or not, for many, the Shroud of Turin is a unique testimony for the last moments of the life of Jesus.